I'm going to show you how to get to wherever it is you want to be by doing some really simple steps. So we're going to talk about a formula. We're going to get down to a formula to see how you can get there, okay? And sometimes you just need to break it down bit by bit in order to understand where you're going. So just a couple of things we want to talk about first to get clear is revenue. That's what you get. So that's what, Am that's what you, you know, revenue is what Amazon sends you, maybe. That's one way to look at it. But we're also thinking revenue is what you sell. So revenue is what you sell. Profit is what you keep. And we're going to go through and see how to get the profit you want from your Amazon business. There's a couple of things just to understand. Revenue minus expenses equals your net profit. And what are your expenses on Amazon? So I'm going to break these down into some kind of, um, you know, really simple steps. There's there's big there's big information here, but what we're really talking about is there's three basic expenses that you have when you're working with Amazon, and I'm going to walk through those with you. So the first is you've got your revenue. I'm going to do this with a thousand because it's a nice round number that everybody can understand. And then at the end, we're going to show how this works. It's no matter what, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand. You can get to five thousand really easy by understanding first how to get to a thousand. Okay, so let's talk about that. We're going to make a thousand in revenue. So every, for every thousand in revenue, let's say we're going to do this. Then we have one expense. What's the first expense we have? The cost of goods, what we pay for it, okay? We're telling you in the beginning that we're wanting you to look for items that cost you about 40% or less of what Amazon is selling the items for. So if you're staying in that 40% range, your $1,000 in sales, you would have spent $400 on the products that you're getting for that, right? So we tell you as a real basic, let's get started rule, try to find items that have 40% or, you know, at least 40% or less what the sales price is on Amazon. So when we give you your little examples and tell you to go out and do some hunting, we're having you look for items that are 40% or less of what they're selling for on Amazon. So that's your cost of goods first off. Then you've got your Amazon selling fees. And in general, your Amazon selling fees are typically, for a typical um, Amazon product, your Amazon selling fees are about 35%. And we're going to break that down and show you how that works. So if you've got about 35% of your selling fee, of your, uh, your sales going to selling fees, that's $350, right? So all of a sudden we're seeing that $1,000 kind of drop, right? Then you've got your net profit of $250. So you've got your cost of goods, your Amazon selling fees. And so that first dollar, the first amount, that's what you're gonna take home when Amazon sends you the money is $250. So your net profit as a percentage of revenue, okay? Net profit margin, that's what the net profit is. It's a percentage of your revenue. That would be your $250 divided by the $1,000 in revenue. And that's a 25% net profit margin. So in that case, for every $1,000 you sell, you would be making $250. If you've got this particular situation going on where your cost of goods and your Amazon selling fees are about 40% and 35%. But there's a few more expenses, right? Yeah, we've got our operating expenses in there too. Operating expenses, we're telling you we want you to keep your operating expenses to about 10%. Now, as a new seller, that's going to be a little more. You know, you're, you're, you've got startup costs. So your new, brand new sellers, your startup costs are going to be part of that too. But on an ongoing basis, your operating expenses, you should keep them at about 10% so that you're not um, over, you're not, you know, you're not overstretching yourself and having too many expenses. And I'm going to talk about all of these expenses and break this down for you as we walk through this presentation. But if you have $100 in operating expenses, that might be AZ Insight subscription, you know, a VA or how much you're paying your prep center, those kinds of things, that all of a sudden brings your net profit margin down to 15% after everything is said and done. And you're going, okay, Danita, I need better than that. 
and I want you to get better than that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. How do we get this to be more money so that you can make that $5,000 in net profit and understand how to get there? 